In this fast-paced world of technology, two key roles have emerged in driving innovation and efficiency, cloud engineers and DevOps engineers. Right now, I am working as a cloud engineer for my own cloud consulting business, but I've also worked as a DevOps engineer in the past. So that's why I can give you the real ins and outs of both of these exciting roles. But here is the burning question. Cloud engineer versus DevOps engineer. Which one should you learn and become? In this video, we'll dive deep into these roles, comparing their responsibilities, skill sets, and the career opportunities that they both offer. Firstly, let's understand what a cloud engineer is and does. Now, cloud engineering involves the delivery of various services over the internet, such as data storage, servers, data databases, networking, and software. Cloud computing allows users to store files and applications on remote servers and access them via the internet, which provides flexibility, scalability, and often cost savings compared to traditional IT infrastructure. Now, Cloud Engineer is responsible for design, implementation, management, and maintenance of cloud computing systems. They ensure the cloud infrastructure operates efficiently and securely. Their daily tasks can vary depending on the size and the needs of their employer, but generally they fall into these key areas. Firstly, design and planning. This involves the architecture of cloud solutions to meet the specific needs of a business or project. Cloud engineers need to understand both the technical and business requirements in order to design a cloud solution that solves the project problems. Next, we have implementation and deployment. Cloud engineers are responsible for setting up and configuring cloud environments, specifically with infrastructure as code. This might include migrating existing systems and data to the cloud or integrating new cloud-based solutions with traditional on-prem IT infrastructure. Cloud engineers also look at the maintenance and management. They do regular monitoring and maintenance of cloud systems. They use various cloud management tools to oversee and report on the state of cloud resources, mainly automation tools. They don't really sit there and watch the screen and monitor things. Some do, but the special ones don't. Another big part of a cloud engineer's role is security and compliance, ensuring that the cloud infrastructure meets security best practices and complies with relevant industry standards and regulations. This includes managing user access, protecting against threats, and auditing systems. As a more holistic view, cloud engineers do a bit of everything. They architect, they code, they focus on security, they create infrastructure's code, and they do general platforms and system upgrades. So we understand the high level responsibility of a cloud engineer, but what does a day in the life of a cloud engineer look like and the day-to-day -day activities? Now, a typical day can look something like this. Spending your morning in a stand-up with the rest of your team and stakeholders to discuss requirements or updates on ongoing projects. Now, depending on the time of the project, you could be working on something new and designing a new cloud solution or even modifying existing architectures. Once that design is done, reviewed and approved, you can then start and build and implement the solution by configuring cloud services. Now, whilst you're doing all of this, you already have monitoring in place for existing cloud systems and ad hoc check the performance to make sure things are running smoothly. Now, if things go wrong, you will have to start troubleshooting and resolving issues as they arise in the cloud infrastructure. Of course, there's some automation tasks that you can work on, but generally you're working in a team designing, building, operating, and monitoring cloud systems and infrastructure. So now that we know what the role of a cloud engineer is and their day-to-day -day activities, now let's take a look at a DevOps engineer. Firstly, what even is DevOps? Now, DevOps engineering is an approach that combines software development, i.e. dev, with IT operations, i.e. ops, aiming to shorten the development lifecycle and provide a continuous delivery with high software quality. It's not just a set of practices, but a culture and a philosophy that promotes collaboration between these historically silo teams. A DevOps engineer plays a crucial role in automating and integrating the processes between software development and IT teams. Their day-to-day -day responsibilities are diverse and dynamic, covering various aspects of both development and operations, such as collaboration and planning, 
working closely with developers, system operators, and other IT staff to oversee code releases or deployments. DevOps engineers are often involved in the planning stages, providing input on operational considerations. DevOps engineers also do a lot of coding and scripting, writing and updating code for software development and deployment processes. This includes scripting for automation of build and deployment processes, as well as development of software features. Along with that, DevOps engineers also build and set up development tools and infrastructure, ensuring that the technical infrastructure and tools are in place to support efficient software development and deployment. This includes setting up CI/CD pipelines, version control systems, and other development tools. Another part of a DevOps engineer's role is testing and examination. They are continuously testing code, processes, and deployments to identify areas of improvement. This includes automated testing and performance testing. And finally, we have deployment and release management. Automating and managing release processes, ensuring that software changes are deployed efficiently and securely without causing any disruptions to service is another big piece of a DevOps engineer's role. So what does a typical day of a DevOps engineer look like? Firstly, it's collaborating with software developers to understand new features and updates in the pipeline. They can also be developing or updating automation scripts to improve efficiency in building, testing, and deployment processes, along with the general monitoring or applications and infrastructure. They can also be troubleshooting any operational issues or conducting any code reviews. There is a lot of diversity, and I would say for both cloud engineer and DevOps engineer, there's no two days which are the same. And that's what makes a role in these two areas so exciting. If you want to get started with the cloud and become a cloud engineer, then you should check out my Cloud Engineer Academy. Academy, where I provide you with a structured way of learning and guiding you to go from zero to cloud engineer hero, covering the fundamentals, tools, and the technologies to learn and become a cloud engineer through self-paced videos, hands-on project-based learning, and live workshops. Not just that, inside the Cloud Engineer Academy's private Discord, you will also gain access to a global cloud community job opportunities and interview prep and so much more. Come join the fastest growing cloud community in the world. Right now it's at a 50% discount for pre-order. So move fast before the launch price. Go to cloudengineeracademy.io to find out more or check the link in the description of this video below. So fundamentally, cloud engineers are responsible for designing and maintaining cloud infrastructure. Whereas DevOps engineers focus on streamlining the software development lifecycle. But depending on the project and the company that you work for, there are definitely overlaps and similarities. And let's discuss and compare both a cloud engineer versus a DevOps engineer. Firstly, it's technical skills. Cloud engineers' technical skills are focused on cloud platforms, so understanding how to design, deploy, and manage applications in these environments is important. They also need to think about networking and security. So having knowledge of cloud networking and architectures, cloud native security practices, and identifying access management. And then we have storage and databases. Cloud engineers need expertise in cloud storage solutions, data migration, and database management in a cloud environment. Cloud architecture is also a fundamental topic to a cloud engineer's technical skills, along with automation and scripting. Whereas of course, a DevOps engineer is more focused on coding and scripting, like using programming languages like Python, Ruby, or TypeScript for scripting and automation. Another big part are CI/CD tools, creating continuous integration and continuous deployment using tools like Jenkins, GitLab CI, but also containerization and orchestration. Working with Docker and Kubernetes is crucial for managing containerized applications and microservices. Now, something that they both share is creating infrastructure as code, experience with tools like Terraform or Ansible for automating the provisioning of infrastructure, along with monitoring and alerting of systems. Now, there are also some additional considerations that we need to think about when we're comparing a cloud engineer with DevOps engineer. While the tool sets and primary focus areas are different, there is significant overlap. Cloud engineers are often needed to understand 
DevOps principles, especially in cloud native environments. CICD and DevOps engineers benefit from understanding cloud environments where the applications and systems operate. Now, both roles require strong problem solving skills, adaptability, and the ability to work collaboratively, as well as knowledge of agile methodologies and practices is also beneficial in both of these roles, as it supports the fast paced and collaborative nature of both the cloud engineering and DevOps environments. Now, with the increasing focus on data security and privacy, knowledge of cybersecurity best practices and compliance standards like GDPR is becoming increasingly important for both a cloud and DevOps engineer. For cloud engineers, a basic understanding of software development processes is helpful. Same for DevOps engineers with a grasp of cloud-specific technologies. They can both be more effective in cloud-based environments and cloud projects. Now let's look at the current job market trends for both a cloud engineer and DevOps engineer. The demand for cloud engineers has been steadily increasing as more companies are moving to cloud-based solutions. This shift is driven by the need for scalability, flexibility, and cost-effective computing resources. Cloud engineers are needed across various industries and not just in tech, but also in finance, healthcare, retail, and more, as these sectors adopt cloud technologies. There's also a growing trend towards specialization within the cloud engineering, such as cloud security, cloud architecture, or cloud native development. Now, the role of a DevOps engineer has become more critical as businesses emphasize on faster development lifecycle and improved operational efficiency. DevOps practices are being adopted by a wide range of organizations from startups to large enterprises, which means that there's an increase in demand for skilled DevOps professionals. And there's also an increasing emphasis on automation, continuous integration, continuous deployment, and infrastructure's code, shaping the skill set required for a DevOps engineer. Let's talk about career growth. Career growth for cloud engineers is looking positive. The cloud computing market is projected to continue its rapid growth, suggesting a strong future demand for cloud engineers. Now, as cloud services evolve, including advancements in areas like edge computing, AI integration, and serverless, cloud engineers will need to adapt and learn these new technologies and frameworks. And of course, there are significant opportunities for career advancement in roles like cloud architect, cloud consultant, or even management positions within IT departments. For DevOps engineers, well, the role of DevOps is expected to grow not just in IT, but as a key part of business operations, reflecting its importance in product development and operational efficiency. As technologies like AI and machine learning become more integrated into the software development lifecycle, DevOps engineers will have the opportunity to expand their skill set and roles. Now, experienced DevOps engineers may move into higher roles like DevOps architect or DevOps manager, or even into a CTO position, given the strategic importance of their skills. So which one should you choose and become? The answer is very, very simple. If you want to be working on cloud platforms and latest cloud technologies, then Cloud Engineer is the way for you. If you're interested in the entire life cycle of software development and automation from coding to deployment, then DevOps Engineer is more suitable. In the end, the choice between cloud engineering and DevOps engineering should align with what you find most engaging. Considering your skills, interests and where you see the most potential for both your personal growth and your professional growth. You have to pick the one you think you'll enjoy most. But once you pick one, you can always move to the other one. If you have any questions, drop them below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.